Hi, it's Sean, the Fluency Awesomizer. And here is Decoding Multisyllabic Words, Episode 4. Now, before we read today, I want to remind you of the tortoise and the hare fable. The tortoise and the hare in that story, as you know, we're in a race. Usually in a race, you're trying to get to the finish line first by being the fastest, but the moral, of course, was slow and steady wins the race. Now, I wouldn't tell that to someone in a running race or in a driving race, but slow and steady wins the race. Definitely when you were reading unfamiliar multisyllabic words like unfamiliar. Now, if you read like the hare, you want to get to the finish line first. And you, so you read quickly. You might zip through big words like unfamiliar and make mistakes. But if you read like, if you read like the tortoise, take it slow and steady, you're going to be a lot more accurate. Right, and read slow and steady all the way to the finish line, which would be the end of a big word like unfamiliar. All right, so I want you to take this exercise slow and steady, get ready to read, and I want you to rewind if you need to, and also read out loud. What is this first word? What's this one? And the third word. All right, these are pretty tricky. What? Watch this. What if I do this? And this. What if I highlight the V and the S? The V and the S move around when you try to read the first two words. Okay, this first word, it's a pretty big word. I'm gonna break it up with my fingers. I see con, there's a ver, or verse, or vers, sat. There's the shun ending, that interesting T-I-O-N, shun ending. So that's sation at the end. This is the word conversation. And conversation comes from the root word converse. Converse is a verb, has to do with talking to others. We're gonna drop that E and add a-T-E, to make a new word, conversate, which also has to do with talking to other people. And to make conversation, we're going to drop that E again and add I-O-N to make the word conversation. The second word, we break it up with our fingers. We see con, there's sir, serve, that vat, oh, there's shun again, so that's vation. The word's conservation, and it comes from the root word conserve. So to make cons conservation, we're going to drop that silent E and add Asian. Right? That's a tricky ending. Doesn't look the way it sounds. Conservation. con sir be shun The third word, if we break it up with our fingers, we see con, cont, there's tro. Trove, over, I see the word over in there, verse, versy, it's the word controversy, and controversy is a root word, it's a word by itself, and we pronounce it con tro -versy. That's the end of today's video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or follow me on Facebook, you can find lots more videos like this, there's a almost 100 at my YouTube channel as of today. And in my Facebook, there are a lot of photos. Go to my photos, you see all sorts of reading challenges. And all you have to do is search the Fluency Awesomizer on YouTube or Facebook. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back and see me soon. Bye.